welcome to the Man Games. In today's video, I'll be looking at some of the screenshots taken from 2K23 and let you know my thoughts and reactions to them. If you are new, watch the Man Games and you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to click that like button if you do enjoy today's video and if you could drop us a comment let us know what you think of these screenshots of 2k23 that would be awesome as well so the first screenshot obviously is of, of john cena in his new black t-shirt with a cap and the sweatbands on so when 2k22 came out there was a massive difference between the graphics on 2k22 from 2k20 it was like night and day whereas for 2k23 the dual light was slightly improved but you know, 2K22's graphics were quite good anyway, so I think, you know, there is a little more similarity between 2K22 and 2K23, but obviously there's only like a year apart, whereas from 2K20 to 2K22 there was obviously a larger gap. But yeah, I think um, this John Cena looks really, really awesome. You know, the facial features, he looks, you know, he looks quite spot on. I mean, by, two, by the time 2K23 is released, you probably will have a new t-shirt out, but yeah, I mean... Obviously they can't get everything as up to date as you would like it, that is why they've got people like me that create them things so, you know, you can get the more up to date version of John Cena on the game. Right then, so the next image is of Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns in a War Games match by the looks of it. So obviously War Games, something I'm very, very excited about for 2K23 and probably the most thing I'm most excited about, to be honest. So you can see Roman Reigns, he's got the, the red and black uh, boots on, which he does wear now. Obviously, that is an up updated version of that. And Drew McIntyre's got the grey and white, whereas in 2K22, he has the black and blue attire. So yeah, these two look really, really good, accurate. You know, the, I, I wasn't a massive fan of the Drew McIntyre in 2K22. I don't think some of these facial features look great, especially in the entrance. I know we'll have to wait and see for 2K23 when it's proper out to, you know, see what it's really like. So yeah, I hope they've improved the facial features of Drew McIntyre, definitely. But no, this is a real, really good screenshot and it makes me excited to play the War Games match. So next up we have Stone Cold making his way to the ring. Same again, you, you know, he looks lifelike, should we say. You would think maybe they would have done the attire from WrestleMania last year, instead of, you know, his classic attire. Obviously you can't both, and they might both be on the game, but to me, I think I would have had more of the recent Stone Cold, so you know, so it looks more up to date personally. And if we go to the next one, it is another one of Stone Cold, and it looks like in the background it is from the Raw set of 2002, which is one of my favourite Raw sets of all time. So I'm looking forward to seeing if that is on the game because I do believe it was on 2K22 as well. So yeah, hopefully they've kept it in. 2K23 as well. So next image we have is Hulk Hogan. So it looks like the WCW Nitro Arena will still be in the game, which is, you know, really, really good. And yeah, the NWO Hulk Hogan. So in 2K22, there was only the red and yellow Hulk Hogan, unless you got the NWO edition. Um, so yeah, it looks like maybe this way, this time we're going the other way around. Maybe it's just going to be the Hulk Hogan in the end of the world, not the yellow and red Hulk Hogan. And next image across now, so it's Hulk Hogan again. So yeah, you know, it looks really, really accurate. It looks, you know, pretty lifelike, really. So yeah, really, really cool screenshot here. Next up, we have Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. So these are the first women on the game that we have seen um, a screenshot of. Obviously, they both look really, really, you know, how they should do. I think Rhea, Rhea Ripley, um, I, I don't know, I think maybe her hair should be a bit darker to be more recent times, but it does look like it is Judgment Day themed because you can see if it's a purple on her attire. Bianca Belair looks, you know, spot on as well. She's probably the best woman in WWE right now. Obviously, Becky Lynch will always be my favourite, but yes, yeah, probably Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley are probably the, the top two in WWE at the moment which makes sense to have this image as, you know, the, the screenshot for the game. I wouldn't be surprised if these, these two headlined WrestleMania against each other. And next up we have Bobby Lashley. So the lighting in this image isn't great, but, you know, it's a good Bobby Lashley. The Bobby Lashley on 2K20 was dreadful in my opinion. One of the worst attires on the game. Um, obviously it was a lot better in 2K22, but this one looks way better as well. So yeah, it's going to be good to have a good Bobby Lashley with a good attire on the next game. And next up, this image of John Cena again, so kind of similar to the first one we had. Not much extra really to say. So yeah, this is more of a full body look at the John Cena. And yeah, everything just looks so accurate 
to match the current John Cena at the moment. So yeah, I mean, obviously, time will tell when he takes the hat off. Uh, you know how much hair will they give him in, in this game? Because he seems to have more hair than he did have in 2K22. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see about that. And next up, it isn't a great screenshot in my opinion, but you can see John Cena taking on Kurt Angle in their first match on SmackDown, potentially the start of the Ruthless Aggression Era. So yeah, it's good to see that Kurt Angle's going to be back in the game, and you know that the, the, um, the original John Cena attire is going to be in the game as well. Obviously, you can't really see the virtual features, but you know, just having Kurt Angle back on the game is a big plus for me. And you can see the shadows in the ring. I think that you know, it's um, good detail in the game as well. So yeah, good image here. As well. and now, just taking a look at some of the 2K covers. So we have the standard edition there. You can see John Cena doing the "You Can't See Me." I think it looks really, really cool. It's, it's quite simple. Yeah, I do I do really um, like it. And then for the Deluxe Edition, you can see him with the United States Championship around the waist. You know, the Dr. Fugonomics John Cena. Probably my favourite version of John Cena, in my opinion. This is when I was, you know, John Cena was my guy back then. So yeah, out of the three covers, this one I would say would be my favourite. And then lastly, we have the Icon Edition. I really like the colours in this cover. But yeah, the, um, the Ducks one, I would say, was my favourite. Obviously, Icon Edition, it's him as the WWE Champion when he was, you know, the face of the company with the spinner belt. So yeah, please let me know in the comments what was your favourite cover. Like I said before, mine will be the Deluxe one. And yeah, that was the last image, so tell me, please let me know what you think of 2K23. I'm so looking forward to the new game getting released it's been re really it just seems like it's flown around because between 2k20 and 2k22 there was a massive gap whereas it's like wow just two months away and then you get with probably less than two months two months away maximum you know and the game is going to be out can't wait let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to obviously i would say war games is the thing that i'm most looking forward to if you're on your watch the man games and you haven't already please think about subscribing to the channel Make sure you've got the notifications turned on if you have subscribed. If you're new, watch the man games as well. One of the best ways to help support the channel is by clicking that like button, so make sure to do that. And you can also find us on social media the man games on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're also on Pinterest, Reddit, and TikTok as well. And in the description below, there will be a link to subscribe to our newsletter. By doing so, you will get a weekly email letting you know what went up on the channel. So thank you very much for watching and supporting the man games today, and we will see you on the next video.